Do you know what I have here? I have the full spec sheet for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Jasper Elms from 27 Leaks hit me up and told me he got the missing piece in the puzzle to get the complete overview of what we're getting with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I do want to say before we get further into this, this is still rumors and nothing has officially been confirmed from DJI. So please consider this information in this regards. Of course, we know many of the details based on previous leaks, but seeing it all on one piece of paper, that sort of uh, confirms more or less everything. So unless someone is super skilled at faking these kind of things, this is going to be the specs that you will get with the Mini 3. So the Mini 3 Pro, that will be a 249 gram drone that is capable of shooting 4K HDR video, and it will include focus track where the focus track will provide options like active track and spotlight and some of the more advanced tracking modes that we know from the bigger drones. There will be three flight modes available, a sport mode, a normal mode and a cine mode, which is going to be 16, 10 and 6 meters per second. The maximum flying height would be 4000 meters and we will get up to 34 minutes of flight time with a standard battery. The maximum flight distance, I would assume this is FCC, is claimed up to 18 kilometers. That's a lot longer than what I can see. The maximum wind resistance is equal to the Mini 2, stated at level 5. Meaning that it will be capable of flying in wind speeds up to 19 to 24 miles per hour, if I recall correctly. Operating temperature 0 to 40 C Celsius, so no flying when it's really cold. But we do know that it's possible, but you just need to be careful. It will support three global navigation satellite systems, GPS, Galileo and Baidu. The sensor is 0.77, so it's slightly smaller than what we have seen on the Ortel Nano Plus. It will be possible to shoot very large images of 48 megapixels with this drone. What makes it compensate for the slightly smaller sensor size is that it has a wider aperture that will let in more light compared to the Ortel Nano Plus. The aperture will be 1.7 for the Mini 3, opposed to the 1.9 that we have on the Nano Plus. The drone will support 4K 2.7, a full HD and slow motion video. And funny enough, this datasheet does not state anything about the frame rates. We will have all the known quickshot modes, Drony, Rocket, Circle, Spiral, Asteroid and Boomerang. The video transmission will be based on DJI 03, which is a successor to the Ocusync 2.0. This means that the live preview quality will be 1080p up to 30 frames per second. If you are flying in areas with strong signal interference, of course we can't expect to get the full range and the signal preview will be maintained up to 1.5 kilometers. Finally, there's a section covering the intelligent flight battery. And what's interesting here, apart from all the hard facts, is that it only takes 64 minutes for a full 34 minutes charge. So that was the latest Mini 3 news and rumors. So if you like any of this and even got a little bit of value out of it, then consider subscribing to the channel. That helps a lot. You can also give it a like. And if you didn't like the video, then press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.